When you begin instrument training, you learn the technique of chasing the needle. What does this actually look like? Let's visualize it using the localizer approach into Ocean City. Up top, we have our VOR receiver tuned to the localizer frequency for the approach. On the bottom, we show our current heading on the DG. We're approaching the localizer on a north heading. This is often assigned by air traffic control as a vector to intercept, and in fact, what this is, is a way to chase the needle from the very beginning. Let's explore. Even though it doesn't affect the needle deflection, when we're on a localizer ILS approach, we should always twist the dial to put the approach course, here it's 325, on top. This is great for situational awareness. Now, the needle's deflected right. We need to chase the needle. What this means is that we should fly a course that's to the right of the 325 approach course. That's what we are indeed doing by flying this 360 heading. Once we approach the localizer course, the needle comes in towards center. There's no need to chase it anymore, so we turn left to fly the heading bugged on the receiver 325. As we continue inbound on that heading, we notice the needle drifting to the left. We're right of course. What's happening? The wind is blowing us from left to right. We need to chase the needle by flying something that's to the left of the bugged 325 heading, though we don't quite know what to fly yet. When you're flying approaches, the most important piece of advice is to make small corrections. Unless something has really gone wrong or the crosswind is really intense, there's no reason you should ever fly more than 5 or 10 degrees off of the inbound course. Just make the small heading change and see what that does to the needle. We'll turn 5 degrees left then. As we continue in, we see that the needle isn't going back to center, but we also see that it's not deflecting further either. We're moving parallel to the approach course, so our heading of 320 is the wind correction. Unfortunately, we need that needle centered, so we go further left, another 5 degrees, until that needle actually centers. Once it does, we're going to resume our 320 heading to hold the 325 inbound course with that wind. So when you're chasing the needle, whether on an ILS or localizer approach, or tracking a VOR course, remember that what you're quote-unquote chasing is the heading, either left or right of the selected course, bugged on the VOR dial. Do that, and remember to make small corrections, and your IFR flying will be much smoother. Check out Flight Insight IFR Ground School today at the link here or in the description.